today uh, we are going to start uh, this this the very important very very important okay very important interview question what important points need to be taken care of while migrating to s4 hana okay or hana database suppose like if you want to migrate from ecc to business suit on hana or if you want to migrate from ecc to s4 hana in that case what point need to be taken care right so the answer over here you will have to give that the very first point let's start from the very first point whatever the native sql you are having right native sql is specific to the database so native sql need to be taken care the first point second point whenever any select query is there with greater than or less than relational approach operator you must have to use the order by clause right because it's if you don't use it will give you the wrong result means it may give you the wrong result so just to avoid that it should not give the wrong result write the order by clause so what i am going to means what i'm trying to explain over here suppose if you have written some select query right suppose you have written select a martner from mara right and if there is some quantity field right so if you have written some uh, if some quantity field is there uh, ntgw in mara let us suppose ntgw or any quantity field let's suppose okay so if if it is there query like select martner from mara select martner from mara okay into internal table right into table it underscore mara let's suppose where one quantity field i'm taking ntgw is greater than 20 okay if the query is like this then in order to make sure that you get the correct result right if it is oracle database and all you don't have to bother but if you are migrating to the hana database just add over there order by you know n t g e w you know this is important you must have to use this one in order to avoid any kind of issue because hana database by default does not give you the result in the sorted order on which you know you are putting the uh, like uh, if you are putting the where condition right maybe due to the column storage i don't know exactly what is the technical reason behind this but this we have to take care wherever some comparison is there with the uh, quantity or currency field right quantity field or currency field or none character field right there you must have to use the order by clause that's why this statement is telling okay that's why this statement is here telling so let me write it over here okay sql hint so you know that sql hint however it will not give you the dump so but if you want that some sql hint should work so because the sql hint is specific to the database suppose if you have the oracle database right so suppose if you have the oracle database for that the sql hint syntax will be different then the sql hint syntax whatever you are going to use for the max db or informix or mysql everywhere the sql hint is going to be different because now you are migrating to the hana database your sql hint should be you know uh should be in the syntax of the supporting syntax of hana db right if if you don't give it will not work it will not give the dump but it will not work this first two are the major issue very very important this first two is very very important this this is like if you 
don't correct it it will not give the dump or you know it will not give some incorrect result or something like that only the performance will be impacted all right secondary indexes can be removed because hana itself creates this index for all the so this is also optional the third and fourth is optional okay direct access of pool tables and cluster tables should be avoided or taken care so you can avoid the direct access of pool tables and cluster table in the hana database right because in hana database pool tables and cluster table concept has been obsolete however we can still create the cluster table and pool table in hana database also right performance management uh, performance measurement so performance measurement like we can just uh, take care of uh, how the performance is going to be right so these are some important point which we have to take care of when we are migrating from ecc to you know uh, when we are migrating from non hana database to hana database or to s for hana these two points is very very important one thing over here is there any way in the sap right one thing is over here is there any way in the sap which will take care of all these criteria you know or suppose tomorrow if these criteria are going to be updated where 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 the sap is going to update how sap is going to handle this one okay so for that purpose actually if uh, if you know about the you know uh, atc right abap test cockpit atc or code inspector right so or epc so the the main thing is atc abap test cockpit because that is a cockpit everything we can find from there itself right so in the abap test cockpit what we can do that if we go over there and if you want to analyze our code okay then we can use this particular variant in abap test cockpit right in very much detail i have prepared the you know a uh, video and put on the youtube uh, there about this you can go and check in very much detail it is explained if you are not able to understand here you can go and check okay so there the variant have been created by the sap functional underscore db and functional underscore db underscore addition other variant for the performance improvement performance underscore db and performance underscore db underscore addition so whenever we have to migrate to the s4 hana before migration we can run this functional underscore db and you know uh, this particular uh, variant and we can check like which code is going to be impacted or which code need to be taken care because in this functional underscore db all these four points you know all these four points is taken care okay so just you have to select this variant and you have to run right you don't have to remember okay this all things there are several other guidelines as well but these are these two are very important okay these two are very important we which we must have to take care okay it will give you the warning severity if something is severe it will also tell you that this is severe you must have to fix it if this is critical you must have to fix it right so this sir uh, a variant is going to help us a lot performance underscore db and functional underscore db so in interview interviewers sometimes what they ask what variant we are supposed to use for the purpose of migrating from ecc to s4 hana so if you remember functional underscore db and performance underscore db your answer is perfect these two variant at least you are supposed to tell and these are the frequently used one okay let me note down this question this is the important question what are the important variant in atc for the code check while migrating to hana or s4 hana so your answer should be you know your answer should be 
the first one is the functional underscore this is important one functional means it will just check the functionality whether your functionality is going to be impacted so correct functionality is very much important than the performance performance right if some if performance is lacking that's fine but if your functionality is lacking that is dangerous right so functional underscore db and performance underscore db so functional underscore db just to make sure that your functionality is working fine and perform performance underscore db is just to make sure the performance is you know up to the mark so these two points you'll have to remember okay another variant also performance this functional db addition and performance db addition this also you can remember but the these two we must 